sure do look geared up for it, so here you go. You got the small key. Oh yeah, the woods on the other side of this cave are covered in really thick fog, so make sure your lantern is full. You're definitely going to need to use your lantern light in there, so bring all the oil you can. And this, this here is a bottle that you can pay a hundred rupees for, just like in A Link to the Past. For some reason, I went from having a normal accent to having a southern accent. Ain't that something? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Twilight Princess uh, HD. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, jeez. I hope your Ordon Shield gets burned Zelda. ASAP. Oh, yeah, I told Will I was going to quit the series if uh, the Ordon Shield got burned. Oh, right. Uh, where's... Give me that. Give you what? The gamepad. Oh, it's going to work now, isn't it? Oh, the yeah, the true challenge begins. I'm pretty sure it's in collection. Yep. It's... The amiibo functionality has been enabled. You have to get out of that first. Uh, now you can do it. Yes, I would like to double down. This will. Th what did that say? This effect will last until what? Until you die. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. every time Sweet. You, every time you die, we have to re-enable. So if I don't ever die... Okay. So the hearts are blue, which now means that any time I get hit by something, I will take... Four times damage. Quadruple damage. Mm -hmm. So that's you wanna, fun. You want to test it out real quick? Just get hit by something? Um, not exactly. Once I get to the forest temple, I'll test it out in the forest temple. Jump off a cliff. Oh yeah, we do need to test that out. All right. So let's see. We have to get through this fog first. And then I'll be glad to get get killed. So yeah, this monkey, I love this monkey, just comes up and be like, Hey, uh, let me jack that real quick. Why can't you just hold it yourself? Um, it kind of leads you to the temple. I don't know. It's, it's pretty dumb, honestly. It should be optional. But that's fine. Okay, so as we're going through the fog, um, didn't you have something that you wanted to... Uh, you had a story to tell or something? You were telling me that you had a story to tell. I mean, I, uh, it was a couple dreams I had, but I forgot what they were now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love that. That's not something you can do in the original version. Do -do -do, do -do -do -do. Practicing spin attacks, because I'm going to need to do those a lot. Practicing spins. Get out of here. Get him out of here. You know who says that. Aaron. Shofu. What? Shofu. When does he say that? When he when he gets a kill with Fox, he's like, get him out of here. Oh. Uh -huh. He says it just like that. Or it's usually when someone's being annoying and like spamming or something. He's like, get him out of here when he finally kills him. I haven't. You haven't watched Shofu in a long time? No. Nah. I haven't either. It's just, it just kind of sticks out in my memory. Dude, having blue hearts is creepy. It gives me the, it gives me the creepos. Thank you, Lord Ganon, for... I do remember one time when I was in one of Shofu's streams and I donated to him so I could get a message to him. And then I challenged him. And he was doing a, you know, a viewer uh, fight club, I guess you would say. Uh-huh. And then he accepted. And we, we went in a set. I did win. Back when Shofu was... Eh. I don't know how he is now. This was like last year, I he, think. He mains Fox. I know, so... yeah, he mained Fox back then, too. Okay, so it depends on who he was playing. Back then, I was a Falcon guy. I, I, um, I hate dash grabs, but I don't know. I think Falcon's a lot cooler than Mario. Okay, so we get the lantern back. That was all kind of a weird situation. So let's go ahead and fix the problem of being out of oil. Oh, wait, I have to equip the lantern, too. I don't really need the fishing rod anymore. Yeah, let's fill that sucker up, and then I'm gonna buy a red potion. Did you sell your oil? Because Lord knows I'm gonna need a red potion. I won't need the lantern though. You don't. You don't need a red potion. If I take one hit, I'll be at minimal health. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You'll die quicker. Than no, that. I won't. Oh, he only deals one heart. What? Okay. He only deals a quarter heart. Yeah, I guess so. 
Watch him get up, and then he's just like, Zonk! <laughs> nice. Oh no, rupees. Okay. There's that bridge. The bridge you couldn't find? Yeah. <laughs> you want to tell the people what you're talking about? I spent like an hour searching for that goddamn bridge, alright? <laughs> it was insane. There's always one point in every Zelda game where I get stuck and I have to look, either look up something or just quit. Oh, I don't have the money for it. And that bridge was that one place. Yeah, apparently he just ran around for a long time looking for that bridge and never found it. So that's adorable. Uh, poor Delta. Okay, I'm almost dead. That is crazy. How quickly that happens. So yeah, I'll go ahead and and uh, get rid of that beeping. So the thing about this challenge is, since I'm going to be taking quadruple damage, um, I'm going to be keeping at least one fairy and one health item like potion or uh, or the freaking bee larva all, uh, at all times so that I don't like continuously die and I'm always restarting stuff and taking forever. Mm -hmm. So let's say that to successfully complete the challenge I'm only allowed three fairies. If you think about it, the fairy negates the Ganon amiibo. Two fairies negates both hero mode and the Ganon amiibo. I love that quote. <laughs> no, but the thing is, once I once I use up a fairy, I'm not allowed to use it again, you know, until my next time or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't know how else to explain it. But yeah, I'm gonna. Oh, do you to... mean the Ganon amiibo? Uh, no. Hold up. I mean, you can have whatever, you can use whatever items you want to as long as your health never increases, and again, an amiibo is always active. Stabbed him in the nuts. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't <laughs> even stab him. I just stabbed the clouds b in front of him. Okay. That's one of my favorite things. If you stand, like, right behind an enemy as you're doing the ending blow, you'll go over them and stab the ground. It's really funny. But it counts as it counts as a hit. If but you use a hidden skill, it counts as a hit. But I mean, like, um, let's see. If you a have sword wields no strength unless again, the hand that holds it has courage. Both again, enemy bow and the um, hero mode they double damage. So, in theory, they both have the hearts. Have your hearts. But yeah, the fairy yeah. in theory doubles your hearts. So they kind of negate each other. Creeping up slowly. Wha-bam! So if you had two fairies on you, it'd be like doing a three heart challenge normal. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, once I've used three fairies, then it's it. Then And I'm stuck. What I hope happens is I figure out a place smart enough that I don't end up needing the fairies until like the end of the game. The Ganon fight was a pushover, let's be honest. Uh, for the most part. I mean, it was epic, but it was kind of easy. If that makes sense. Yeah. This is the item, or the dungeon where you get uh, my second favorite item in this game. I absolutely love the Gale Boomerang. And like I was, like I was saying earlier, there's a certain funny little... Easter egg sort of situation you can do with it. Can you do it in this game? Oh yeah. Well, I think you can. See, that's all you have to do. You have to back jump as soon as they lunge, or as soon as they're reeling back, because then they're about to lunge. Whoops. There. It only takes one spin attack to get them out of there. Get them out of there. All right, so. Caged monkeys is sort of a theme. There's a lot of animal abuse going on in this game. We're going to have to call it PETA, the organization that actually, in reality, stands for people eating tasty animals. <laughs> I like it. What, the fake name for it? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, Forest Temple. Starting our first dungeon. This is, this is crazy. It feels like just a couple days ago we were still at Snowhead and I couldn't get up the... I couldn't get up the mountain to the to the snow temple in Majora's Mask. 
<laughs> and we have 52 subscribers now. A lot has changed. That is crazy. We were going to do a thing for that, and we well, we kind of have a substitute for that coming later. Uh, yeah, we got something but, uh, in the works. The original, Ooh, I destroyed that. Um, the original thing we were going to do, we were kind of... Uh, we can't really do it right now. Are you talking about face cam? No. That's not... I don't think I'd ever go up for that. Really? Yeah. Why? Live streaming, but not for regular videos. Why? Just don't want to. What's the matter? Just don't... Like I said, I'll be fine with a live stream, that. but... Regular videos, nah. I mean... Okay. Well... So this is a little boring cutscene where a monkey breaks the bridge, da 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 da. Oh, what's going on? Has there been a monkey fight? Oh no, now we can't go any farther. Oh, well, shite. I guess we have to do the temple normally. Oh, speaking today, I was actually supposed to go to, uh... uh supposed to go to region band auditions. Uh-huh. But I said, screw it, because band doesn't interest me anymore. Not the schools, at least. So you just didn't go at all? No. <laughs> I said, screw it. Well, I'm happy for you making your uh, own decisions or whatever. I had far more, more interesting and um, beneficial things to do, like sleep. Yeah. Hey, dude, do you remember Uku? No. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I keep forgetting her name. Phew! Out at last. Gracious. Once I got in there, I couldn't squeeze back out. If you know what I mean. <laughs> you were a big help. Thanks. I've been looking for something in here, you see. Gracious, yes. You must need something, too. Let's work together, blah, 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 blah. Isn't she, like... Gay? No, she... <laughs> she does something important yeah. in the story later on, right? Yeah, she does. Gee, I wonder what that is. Something with, uh... Barrage. Shut up! <laughs> Uh, oh. yes, that is that is correct. She does something important in the story later. I forgot what it was, though. Um, okay, so, one thing that I like to do right here is no-scope this guy. <laughs> and then he, well, look, he just crawls into the water. <laughs> and dies. Oh, <laughs> Suicidal oh, spiders, <laughs> right? Ah, oh, dang it, I got knocked off my secret spot. May as well kill myself. <laughs> Boss key. I wonder how you solved that puzzle. Maybe you need to get an item from this dungeon. No, that's not how Zelda works. Yeah. It's not how you Zelda, bro. Should I skip 90% of this dungeon? Yeah, why not? I don't know if I can. It's not this part right here, but it's close to here. There's a thing that will let me skip a humongous amount of this dungeon. Hopefully. There's actually, there's two skips. One of them is really, really hard, and it lets you get the Gale Boomerang quickly. And one of them is after you get the Gale Boomerang, and that one's fairly easily. Fairly easy. Okay, so we were going to test out what happens if you fall into a void. Uh, so let's just find out. That was a weird ca Oh my god! No! What? Hold on, so, does it just take your health? Or is it, or is it just a hero? Oh my god! Fall into it again, because I want to see if it's... No! If it's just a straight-up hero mode thing, or if that's... No, that's because it deals you four times the damage, dude. Okay, jump into it right now, because you'll start right back there. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm going to have one heart. You might as well do it again, say you have three. Oh my god, man. What? What was that? Okay, these two game overs don't count. Those were just tests. Those were for intellectual purposes. Yeah, they, they actually were. I I can't believe it, man. I can't. So you can't fall off in this playthrough. No. Dude. Okay, give me that. Isn't isn't there some parkour you gotta do? Let me see. So, anyways, yeah, that was awkward, dude. Um. 
So, so apparently I cannot fall off. Oh, that means I can't do the skip. Why? Because... Just, you know, kill yourself, do the skip without the, the you know, the hero mode. Um, no. Wait a second, I'm going the wrong way. That's the door over there that I need to open. Dude, that's crazy. This is going to be really hard. This is going to be almost realistic, because if you fall into a pit, you die in real life, you know? Like, if you fell off that cliff, you would die. Yeah. So, that's that's actually going to make this fairly realistic. And you can only take, you know, a couple hits, which is still not quite realistic, but it's close. Oh, darn, diggity dang, the bridge broke. Well, frick. Well, I guess we'll find out what you do here next episode. Yeah, huh? yeah. We'll be getting... Kept, all, we're, all we're really doing in this dungeon is collecting some monks. We're just g running around collecting monkeys. So, when, when we come back, we'll be collecting monkeys. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you then.